To Santa now, Africa's business tourism, Lekhotla Meetings Africa, under the theme Advancing Africa Together. And that, of course, gets underway in Santa today. So we cross now to Leanne Manners, who is there. So uh, for more interviews throughout the morning, it's over to you, Leanne. And a very, very good morning to you, Sakina, and to everybody that's tuned in as well to Morning Live. It's great to be coming to you live from Meetings Africa, the 15th edition of Meetings Africa. And this really is a gathering of all different role players within the meetings industry. Um, you know, you talk about mice. Well, it's not that kind of mice. It's the meetings exhibition industries where people come together and you get massive groups of whether it be corporates or whatever it may be that come to a uh, specific country to host their events and you know that South Africa has a massive, massive following when it comes to meetings and hosting big events. I mean, I'm not going to go far as far back as the, as the World Cup because I think that really cemented our reputation in terms of being able to host brilliant, brilliant uh, events that are on a, a global global scale, but it's just continued throughout the years and South Africa really trying to keep its reputation intact when it comes to meetings Africa. But in a global environment like this, that is is exceptionally challenging, one has to find out different ways in order to attract those businesses to come to South Africa and continue to use this country as a, uh, as a meetings facilitator. But besides that, it's not only about South Africa, it's about the entire African continent because you'll find that many countries from the continent are here exhibiting what they have to offer as well. So the competition is real and we need to keep on putting our best foot forward in order to get that business. But let me introduce our first guest who of course is our Minister of Tourism and it's always a pleasure to chat to her at the opening of this. Mamaroko Kubai and Gubane, always a pleasure seeing you and welcome to Morning Live. But I suppose this is also a place where you're welcoming us to because this is the 15th edition and your second one. My first one, actually. This is my first, first Meetings Africa, indeed 15 years. You look at where um, the country has traveled and the continent. Looking at Meetings Africa is a place for Africa showcasing, as we believe that if we hunt together, we can be able to get more. So it's Africa hunting together to the world, yeah. saying we are a destination for meetings. We are a destination for big events. Excellent. With all the animals behind us, I suppose we can use that term, hunting in packs. So that's what we're doing right now as Africa, hunting in packs to get that business. Let's, let's sort of work through this uh, as well as we can. We have the State of the Nation address. The President has given you your mandate. And, and, and what are we looking at? We're still using tourism as a major, major key to our economy. No, definitely. We believe that we've been able to achieve, I mean, after the establishment of, of the sixth administration, we've been able to firstly put tourism on the map, in the center, paying attention, making sure that everybody understands that tourism matters. And if you followed my debate, that's why I said tourism is everybody's business. Because when we got one of the targets I put for myself as well, was to make sure that the profile of the portfolio is up. So when President spoke this time, was no longer about only speaking about the numbers increasing, because he understood that we've got that message, we're working on that target for 2030. He moved a step further to say, what, are the, what is the major issue that stumbles for tourism to grow? And that's why he mentioned the issue of safety in the tourism sector. We understand, and this was said in the context of all the other issues that relate to safety in the country. And then he mentioned the introduction, possibility of introduction of tourist police, which is a major breakthrough for us as the tourism sector. The second step that he moved was to say, because we are going to grow this economy, we are going to grow the tourism sector and make sure that we increase our numbers, we have a center, and it becomes one of the key players in the country. And therefore, let's make sure that we don't leave others behind. Hence, he announced the tourism equity fund um, that will be launched as part of our efforts to ensure that we transform the sector and everybody feels included. So in the couple of months within the first term before I deliver my budget vote in May I would have launched the tourism equity fund. Well, I mean, that's something to look forward to. As you say, those tourism police is also um, a, a really great uh, addition to, to what the tourism offer is. But let's, let's talk about some of those challenges that we're facing, because really it is, it's a tough time. 
the airline is struggling right now. We have got the issue of coronavirus, which could work in our favor, but, you know, I was listening to interviews that are taking place and studies that are coming out and saying that, you know, chances of it coming to Africa are very high, the way it's spreading right now. These must be just two of your many concerns going forward into this year. Look, definitely, the, let me start with the coronavirus. The coronavirus is a concern for us. Obviously, we're working closely with our health department keeping us updated on the issues, what's happening. And we do believe that WHO and the entire team are really doing their best to ensure that um, the virus doesn't spread across um, the globe. And from our side as tourism, we will be affected, obviously, because we've been working on increasing our numbers from China. Now you'd note that we can't have those numbers. And the sooner we know that the matter has been put to rest and we can be able to start, for example, I'm hoping that I'll be able to go to China in June to do a follow-up after the corona to be able to still urge people to come. So we're hoping that it will be managed by that time and we can be able to do that. But secondly, for example, this meetings Africa, we're supposed to have 16 delegates from China. They had to pull back, pull off. Though we've replaced them, what I will be doing? Now it has given us an opportunity to, learn to, op to look at other options. So I'm doing a live stream with them today, those who are not here. So they are not really feeling out, left out. We still think that they are important and we still want them included. So the crisis has created an opportunity for us to start thinking utilization of technology better. You spoke about the issue of airline. Yes, um, we're monitoring what SAA is doing, what the business rescuers are doing. We are concerned definitely because the numbers will be affected. But we are saying from a tourism point of view, I always say, Leon, I have to put my head as a patriotic South African, but also then forget patriotism and say, put my head as tourism minister. Because as tourism minister, my responsibility is to bring tourists here. And it shouldn't matter how they come. So we should be able to say to different airlines, increase your number of flights. If it's five, increase to seven, like we, uh, the conversation that uh, SATCO has been doing with um, the route for Brazil. So the airline has agreed to increase to seven, so at least we should be comfortable. So we'll continue to do that, talk to our partners, airlines that we have platforms to, to be able to close the gap in terms of making sure that uh, we are able to get the numbers. In terms of GDP spent, definitely will be affected because airlines, SAA, when somebody spends on the SAA, they are spending on our economy. Yeah. But when they spend on another airline, they are spending outside our economy. So that's where we're going to be affected. Yeah. So those impact will fill them, but we're working around the clock, around marketing. You noted that we launched a new advert, a campaign that went live on the day that uh, the president delivered SONA. Um, so I hope people managed to see it. We're not distracted by what happened in Parliament because we wanted to still bring the positive message and what who we are yeah. and reminding ourselves as South African that united together we can stand and promote. We have a beautiful country and this is what we are showcasing. Indeed, indeed we really do and uh, with that comes a lot of challenges which I think you've spoken to. I mean the SAA situation, the route cancellations are very, very big. As much as I want to go into more detail of them, I think we've touched on most issues but I I want to talk about numbers as we wrap up and, and hand over to the, 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 the Johannesburg studio. But the numbers I know are coming out from Stats SA. You are hoping at the end of this month, or the end of this week actually, which is the end of the month, but it could be a bit of a delay. Any suspicions how we did last year in terms of numbers? Are they looking better or what are you thinking? Um, um, it's going to be a bit of a mixed um, lien from where I'm sitting. There are areas where you'd see some positive feedback based on the ground, what people are giving you as feedback and all those things. For example, when we talked to Deben, um, and AXA at Deben were able to say to us, we've seen 25% increase, increase in Deben airport arrival, international arrival. So that's positive news um, for Deben, Etiwini, um municipality and the KZN um, tourism because they've been doing a lot of aggressive campaigning. We've seen new routes in, in Cape Town. Though there were some feedback from other people who were saying the restaurants were not as busy as they are used to, we don't know how it will impact on us. We're hoping that it's not too negative and that the route, new routes, for example, the London, the um, um, New York by 
um, American airline yeah. will increase the number. So we're hoping that diversification should be able to assist us. Um, Mpumalanga, for example, because of the high crime at some point, when we went with the police to assist and it went quieter. So the feedback was that actually we had a better festive season. So we're hoping for positive numbers. Um, crossing my fingers uh, for that positive good news just for me to at least have something that is going very well that I can showcase. But there's been quite a lot. We've really achieved quite a lot from what we've put as our target, what we've said we've received as feedback. I got positive feedback after yeah. India as well to say, look, we are coming. Yes. So even this year, I expect the numbers to, to look better. Minister, thanks very much for talking to us and good luck. And we, of course, looking forward to meeting Africa and when the, uh, the minister, of course, uh, releases those uh, numbers, the tourism numbers to South Africa, it'll give us a good idea of how we did last year and, of course, making a business plan going forward. Tough times, but this is where you've got to go out and look for business and not wait for it to come to you. Let's go now to sports. We're looking for the business of sports in the Johannesburg studio, and I believe that Valen's going to deliver that to us. So, morning to you, Valen.